Here's a quick demo of using GeoGebra to build a slope field and maybe introduce integration in a way that's different from the area under a graph. So I'm going to define a function, call it f of x, called negative kx. And this is going to be our gradient function. And uh, once I've defined that, GeoGebra will say, oh, do you want a slider for k? I'm actually going to make a few changes here to the layout for GeoGebra to give myself some space. Uh, graphics 2 is going to be a place where I put sliders and things. So I'm just going to change the k to be visible on the graphics 2 window. And that way I've got sort of graphing graphics window down the bottom here and another one at the top. I'm actually going to hide the function itself. So what I want to do is show the slope field. If that's the gradient function, uh, GeoGebra has a slope field command. I used to call this a tangent field. I've kind of started calling it a slope field because of GeoGebra's command. Uh, but you can see it, it's dead easy to build. And this is uh, to do with the diagram that Robin was talking about on Twitter. And you can zoom in and out. And you can see that it's parabolic and it changes with K. So I've got a, uh, a variable to change the slope field. So these, uh, it doesn't know the integral of f. It's just saying if uh, you've got an f, a function with a gradient of negative 1.5x at the moment, it would have to be following these lines. And that's already kind of useful. Uh, it's the same diagram that Robin was talking about as a, a vector field. I can do one other thing and actually do the integral uh, to find a solution to this. And that actually needs uh, sort of a initial condition. So I'm going to put a point somewhere on the screen and I can move this around anywhere. It's just a point and I'm going to use the solve ODE command which I wouldn't discuss probably with a, a new group to integration, but it's just solving the OD, solving the differential equation is integrating f. And I need to give it the gradient function and I can give it a starting point, which is my point a. And you see now I've got a fully interactive setup. Uh, any point it will solve and I can change k and see how the solution changes as well. Uh, even better than that, I can show the integral here. If that's the integral, the original one was this one. And you can see that moving the point around is just changing the integral by a constant shift. Uh, you can see that visually and uh, numerically in the uh, in the algebra there. So that's a, a really nice demonstration of what Robin's talking about. Integration is uh, solving a gradient function.